Olympics, an infectious disease has been making national news in a nearby state. Multiple tuberculosis cases have been reported at a Kansas high school this month, but Arkansas is also dealing with its own cases in several areas. THV 11's Ashley Godwin talked to the Department of Health to find out what's going on. Arkansas sees multiple tuberculosis cases a year, but right now public health officials are seeing clusters in several counties. The fear is that there are more people infected and possibly spreading the disease unknowingly. We have seen increasing trends of clusters. Dr. Patil of the Department of Health says there's a reason we are seeing these clusters of cases. The contacts are not identified and given treatment to prevent the disease, so that has been happening. ADH tells me there are clusters in Craighead, St. Francis, and Greene counties in the northeast part of the state. There is also a cluster in Howard County in southwest Arkansas, as well as some cases in northwest Arkansas. Some of those include children, which can be deadly. We feel there might be more people who might have been exposed, uh, and we would like them to be, uh, you know, uh, screened and tested. Tuberculosis is spread through droplets, coughing or singing, laughing, so it, it spreads, you know, through through the air. Symptoms include a cough that won't go away after several weeks, fever, weight loss, and night sweats. TB is completely curable, and uh, uh, someone who, who is uh, having TB right now and who is infectious to others, um, you know, if they take two, two weeks of treatment, you know, they are, they are supposed to be non-infectious. They can go back doing their routine business. Worldwide, each year, there are around 10 million cases of tuberculosis. Around 2 million of those cases turn deadly. If you have been exposed to someone who has the disease, you should contact the Department of Health to get tested.